There have been shocking moments on television that made people lose their damn minds. <laughs> Who shot jail? I remember that. Mm, Did that Tony it. Soprano die? <laughs> Jon Snow's rise from the dead. Yes, and here's the latest one. Why oh. did the View co-hosts move their damn seats? <laughs> Sparking a raging debate online. So right now we're gonna expose the truth. Uh-oh. This one cannot keep her hands to herself. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Look at this. Just watch this. Look at this. You see what you're doing to me? It's it's it. <laughs> coming to visit the show, he's like, Sarah, you really have to stop touching Joy. Not everyone wants to be touched. It's not just touching. No, it's a, it's a physical laughter. It's not gentle. She only gets hit when she's funny, so she should be thanking me. Oh. But, uh, two, <laughs> live the victim. I, I am, like, I touch people, and I forget that not everyone wants hugger. to be touched. No, but You're you don't go hugger. this way, is the interesting thing. No, nope, she'll knock you off your that. chair. I'm, I'm like, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopi's not, though, then, right? I cannot just hit Whoopi. I can uh -oh. I can barely lift the face. I can Many barely lift tried. my arm to, to have a glass of tequila after a show with you. Well, I'm it's, sorry it's I like stopped your drinking problem. Co-host abuse. <laughs> so now you she's over here. Co-host abuse. Co -host yes. co -host abuse. <laughs> you do realize she can still get to you. I know. Her, yeah, but she doesn't use that <laughs> no, I'm a lefty, left though. Left arm. I am left a lefty. She doesn't use that sign. Well, Me too. Where were we supposed though? to put her? Put her over there. <laughs> put her over there. <laughs> Well, put the, the engaged girl over here. I'll take that. Yeah, she's I'm very over loving. I'm very gentle. Oh, I'd love to see when the conversation gets heated and super conservative how you handle that. Oh, that's true. <laughs> well, speaking of super conservatives, we did rather well Let's yesterday. Go there. We enjoyed having White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders and her dad Mike Huckabee here yesterday. We had a really good discussion. Yeah. I had good time. <laughs> but Mike. <laughs> has been all over Fox News since he left here, telling a bit of a different story. <laughs> here he is a few hours ago on Fox Business. Take a look. I didn't go in there thinking that they were going to uh, give me warm hugs and kisses. I've been on that show many <laughs> times. But I think it's important that those of us who are conservative, that we're willing to go into the lion's den. That we show we're not afraid. We've got a position. We're willing to defend it. And frankly, it juxtaposes our view and our spirit versus theirs, which is full of anger and irrational hatred toward the president. <laughs> You know what? We really worked hard yeah. to do a fair interview, yeah. and I resent yeah. that you would do that. Don't, no, 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 wait, 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 let me keep my, my mind. I resent that you would do that, because you would never say that about Stephen Colbert. You would never say that about <coughs> Noah, uh, uh, Trevor, Trevor, Trevor Noah. Noah. So why, do, why are we irrational? We were not irrational. We asked you questions and told you how we felt. And we allowed you to do the same. <laughs> but you it's, know, it's, it's interesting, we how, how, no, it's it interesting how he sees us as hating Trump irrationally when the hatred towards Hillary Clinton and President Obama was like a hurricane level, like Irma, you know? Yeah. It was a big, big hatred for the two of them. Well, also when and I, yet he thinks that we hate Trump. I don't, I don't hate Trump. I don't like what he's doing. Uh, what, what I find a little... I don't. Yeah. Duplicitous was when we sat here, uh, I specifically asked Sarah a question, and she said that the media characterizes, this is her quote, the media characterizes all Republicans, all conservatives, mm -hmm. all Democrats. And then her father, which I know is not her, but goes on and in two different quotes says, the liberals and the Democrats and the, these women were irrational. And that's, yeah. that we were all also, we we're very different. We would have been asked. limping But that's, out that's here. what you're trained to do. But, but you know, I think I, it's I a just, feminine thing to say women are I was, irrational. I was I was going to say that, don't hysterical. they say that about Kamala yeah. Harris, right, the senator yeah. there, we yeah. say she's so irrational. And I don't think any of us, you know, 
um, I think that fact trumps um, emotion every single time. And I think we're all very careful to be fact-based. I mean, I asked him factually about uh, <laughs> Sheriff Arpaio and about the fact that in 2011, the Department of Justice did find he had committed various civil rights violations. Well, they don't care about that. And he but just said it. He was, when, you're, when you're a right-wing talking head, and I, I was one, I, came, I worked for Fox News, like, I came from there. What you're trained to do, really, is to go into what's referred to as, you know, the liberal cesspool or the, you know, the lion's den. <laughs> and you go in there and you defend your point and then you go back to the friendly zone and you say, oh, you know, they're out of touch with America. That doesn't work here, Mike, because I am a conservative and I didn't vote for Trump and I am standing for conservative principles. You don't get to say you came here and the liberal media opposed you. No, I sat right here and it's not irrational that I oppose Donald Trump. Donald Trump's character was questionable. Donald Trump has gone on Twitter rants that have insulted foreign policy leaders that have insulted people in the intelligence community, that have insulted media figures. Donald Trump is voting to raise a debt ceiling that when President Obama did that, you all, all Republicans out there, had a problem with it. But why, why so, is no. that the training, though? But what, my, I, what I because don't understand is, the base. why would that be the training? Because you know what? Cable news has a lack of independent thinkers, and everyone's interested in playing to the base, and everyone's interested in, this is our viewership, and this is our president, because he's the Republican, and our network is, is built on this Republican brand, you know what? No more. No more. There are but people out here that stand for principles, and I am one of them, right. and these women here are one of them, and yeah. you don't get to pull us in media whatever. Irrationality. No. No. Irrationality. no. What I find yeah. really disheartening is that when you say something like, he li like I said, he lies 95% of the time. Mm -hmm. And I quoted PolitiFact. PolitiFact is a very, very objective organization sure, that yeah. basically, you know, uh, uh, tallies how many times mm -hmm. the guy says a lie. Mm -hmm. Some of it is a big lie, some of it is a little lie, some of it is a sort of a lie. But 95% of the time, he's not telling the truth. And they go around saying that that is not true. Yeah. Well, then if they don't believe PolitiFact and they don't believe the New York Times, or the LA Times or the Wall Street Journal or the Washington Post or us, who do they believe? Breitbart, Breitbart News Breitbart. and Fox. That's not enough, I'm sorry. That's, That's skewed it. too Let me much. Let also just say there are people on Fox News yeah. that are standing up to Donald Trump. There are people like Charles Krauthammer and Stephen Hayes and smart people that have said, this president does not represent me in many ways. So don't try to make it like the, you know, he's also and, trying to say the Fox the, News brand thing, opposes. No, the there are smart is, people that are standing calling up to names. This. Stop calling people names. Yeah. Yes. We didn't do that with you. We didn't do that what with you. We, irrational. You know, irrational. Irrational and, 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 and angry. You know, and... and Go ahead, no, no, you go ahead. No, finish, finish. Well, we had a conversation actually off camera where we were talking about how the difficulty with different thoughts is when you come to the conversation and you call someone crazy or irrational. You had this you conversation with who? Yes, with the Huckabees. With the, oh, okay. And we said that that stops the conversation and we all agreed. Whoopi was there. Like, we were all like, yeah, that's the problem is people aren't continuing the conversation. It, uh, maybe I'm naive, but I'm just a little surprised the day after uh, uh, we're that's being swathed as one big group. He's speaking to the base now and he yeah. has lost his identity as an independent thinker in that moment and that's well. a shame. You know, and it is. And it's former governor. When was he governor? It's not, it's not okay. You know. I'm just saying, man, don't do that. We didn't do that to you. We, we made it a point because we do know you and we respected your daughter. And I, I'm just, I'm kind of pissed off about this, Mike, because it's not right. It's not right. And I've never been irrational, except when it comes to my pizza. Anyway, we'll be right back with more hot topics.